there were a couple other things too in terms of what uh, emotional parts to have. Yeah. Another way to look at your story, and I think it's a fun exercise to do with other people's stories and movies, is to look at the four E's and think what proportion of each of these is my story? Entertainment, education, enlightenment, or personal expression. Uh, take, for instance, the Transformers films. Mostly entertainment. Okay, very little education. Eh, maybe a little enlightenment. Uh, about, you know, doing your best to save the world. And probably quite a bit of personal expression, right, of the director's desire to have things go boom. But mostly it's entertainment. Look at Eat, Pray, Love. Okay, it's kind of entertaining. Educational, eh, not much. Enlightening, possibly, but mostly it was about personal expression. It was, you know, me, 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 look what I did. And, the, you know, a lot of people really enjoyed it, but it's an example of a story that's very much about personal expression. And most memoirs are, that's why we write them, because we want to express ourselves. But if you want to be sure that in your story, you've also got some entertainment or who's going to care. And if you can enlighten us a bit, raise up our awareness about something, you've, maybe you've got a cause, or you want to uh, promote a certain perspective on life, cool. And education, documentaries, of course, but uh, also letting us know something about something we did not know. Now, how does that apply to pitching? When you go into pitch and you're telling them what your story is, you know, this is an action adventure feature film that goes along on a journey with a woman who's looking to save all of the classical tombs from all the tomb raiders that are taking away all of the treasures and hurting the study of archaeology and the culture of the people, okay? But you'd start off with, it's an action adventure and female heroine who is trying to do something good for you know, the greater good. Or is it, um, well, this is a small film that delves into someone's emotional journey and takes us from grief to joy. Or this is a story that, let's say something about educa education and enlightenment. This is a story about someone who discovers they are more than they thought they were and they're able to bring that message to other people and help them rise up as well. So yes, it's entertaining, but it's really inspirational. So just give us a taste of that, and I don't even have to use those same words, but give us a taste of what your movie is going to be about or your TV series. What we want when we're sitting on the other side of the table listening to pitches is we want to be able to tune in really quickly to what it is you're offering us. When you're sitting across the table pitching to someone, what we want to hear from you is what type of story is it that you have? Is it a feature? Is it a TV series? Is it small or is it big? And give us a sense of, once again, that uh, sympathy, danger, salvation. You want us to tune in right away because if we go, you know what? We're really not doing period pieces, thank you anyway. Do you have something else? You let us know first before you get into taking the time to explain your story. And then three minutes in we go, oh, it's a period piece? Oh, I'm so sorry, we can't do those. So it's like striking that opening chord and telling us, giving us a sense of what we're going to be hearing next. And a sense of, is it going to be more entertaining? Or is it enlightening and inspirational? Is it educational? You know, think how you would have pitched 12 Years a Slave. Okay? It's not very entertaining, but it's educational about a system that was going on at the time. It's enlightening because of the hope and the people who did help out and try to change the system. And it's personal expression in there too. So you, you 
start off that pitch with a totally different tone than you would pitching the next Transformers film. So just let us know that. Let, let the person you're pitching to get an idea very, very quickly. And, and most people who teach pitching have some really great ideas. There's a lot of people who have written books. But Kathy Fong Yonetta has a wonderful book about pitching called The Script Selling Game. And it's got wonderful tools in there. She was an exec at uh, Disney and at Paramount for many years and worked with writers and developed stories. And she has some amazingly wonderful workable tips and tools for pitching. I learned a lot from her.